Hi there, this is KV, and this is the Moon Phase Report for Leo. Okay, so you are at that point where you're like, um, oh my gosh, I'm missing my friends. I don't have all the friends I want anymore. Or, or like, you're just missing these people that you had these really kind of cool things with. You're not feeling like you get with your friends enough. You're not feeling like you you know, have that cut loose kind of thing enough in your life, or there's some kind of bonding thing of really feeling like you're on the same page. Um, you can also be kind of awakening to uh, wanting to um, join kind of groups that are more a gathering of people who are talking about the same things you are, are interested in the same things you are. And even like this, I'm going to eventually turn Aquarius Nation into a group. And I'm creating something now with that, but it's uh, so that you like have all these people that are on your same page talking about the things, you know. And what what I'm going to be creating is going to have people yeah, interacting, which is cool, and meeting all of you all, so you can all meet each other. Um, but so that's kind of what you're feeling. There's also things of like wanting to give back, um, wanting to really like share what you have with others. Um, maybe even like moving into almost a space of not so much of that monetary um, addiction um, or hold of things, of thinking you need to hold on or accumulate. Maybe there's just something happening that's more like giving and open and sharing and you know that kind of vibe of more for the people. What can I do for the people? Charity, you know, what can I do? Like, um, that's just a great thing to be wired up with. And it's your opposite sign, so it's you're coming to that middle ground, too. So the, the moment you get there, you're at this space of who you're supposed to be expressing as, you know, which can still accumulate all this stuff, but still is like, I want to give back. I want to give. I want to give. It feels good to give. I love to give. To the point where you don't even think about the holding of the money. That just naturally happens from so much outward give and share. So that's kind of where you're at right now. And we'll say it, we'll do new moon affirmations uh, right now because that's the main point of it. Um, all, although what's really cool is that this is the house that um, where you are right now in your chart is a point of you really having an amazing ability to really get clear and manifest anything you want anything in the world like so there's not any one category that you really have to stick to um, you're really just gonna be able to be like I want this I want that I want this you know and just like not caring about the timeline of it you know just trusting it'll happen when it happens but I want this I want that I want this I want that and um, and um, so your new moon things of I am manifesting all my dreams but you're gonna want to be more personal and fill them in um, I am coming to. I am gathering together with a group of like my like-minded people, um, so that we can further our mutual goals together or whatever. Um, I'm, I am spending more time, more quality time with my really serious quality friends. Um, I am attracting more quality friends into my life. I am dedicating part of my time to charity and donation and volunteering at the animal shelter or whatever you want to do because it feels good. I mean, that's the thing too about the give back and the free and the take care of and the just help other people out. It feels so good. It's really like a drug. Um, it just feels good to help people. Like, I've always gotten off on it. I've been on to this one forever. Feels good. I think I first learned it when I was, um, when I first moved to San Francisco when I was like 24. And I think that's when I first got the give thing because of, um, I was just anybody on the street, like, oh, here, you need money? Here, here. But I was also manifesting so much at that time. I made more then than I ever have in my life again. But it just came and came and came and I had so much free time too. So, um, that was cool. I loved that. Um, that's where one of my manifestation things, I just realized that you need to ask for more free time. You know, don't forget to do that one. So, okay. Um, um, so yeah, those are your new moon. Uh, I am, you know, whatever you really want to be have, 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 have show up in your life right now because there's kind of no limits. And especially because the powers of this moment right now. I mean, there's a lot of friction in it too. Um, there's a lot of friction and sharp words and angry words and mean and hot tempers. That is 
out there but there's also this really big beautiful love amazing thing too so it's like you might weave in and out of those emotions but at least know if you do get into the the, the negative more one the lower dense one um, just know that good love one is coming next so to, to bring it even quicker and also to um, kind of help you pull yourself out of it because just knowing that you know like say you had a flat tire and you're sitting on the side of the road and your spare is flat too and um, and you don't have a cell phone well, I guess that doesn't factor it doesn't matter but somebody stops to help you but they can't help you but they're gonna drive up to um, the gas station up the way and get you help so you ha you feel like crap you're like oh no my uh, car and, uh, but there's another party that knows help is coming so it's like even though it does suck it's like well help's coming though so it kind of is this in-between stage that does almost move you into the happy love vibe even quicker you know so think about that one um, okay so with this one let me see what else because this one is um, hi boy there's been animals visiting in like every recording the cancer got to meet moon bear and then Gemini got to meet Moon Bear and Layla, a neighbor dog, because I have like five who hang out here every day. So we'll get to see if anybody else. That would be cool if someone showed up for each one. That'd make me happy. Okay, so hold on because this takes me a minute because there's so much to it. Okay. Okay, so okay, so yours is going to be very much. You're very much um, um, kind of focused on this thing that you are. Um, that's kind of part of your service to others, and it's also going to be, you know, it's something that is like a message, or it's something that you're wanting to get out and get out further, and really kind of spread and. Um, it could be something like internet uh, and um, it's something that like you really do need to utilize the energies of this time to really be kind of pulled back and um, manifest through meditation and through silent moments like that's going to be your key to really kind of like um, bring these kind of changes you're wanting to have to make greater impacts for the people um, to really kind of like I want to do something so that's also going to tie in with this wanting to join something too or wanting to give back but they'll be kind of uh, joining together and coming together and um, 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 one thing that maybe it's something too with um, believing in yourself believing you can have this believing you can do as big of a thing that you want to do um, because there's something in your mind that's needing to be manipulated in this process maybe there still is a little uncertainty because that's what I say about the Leos there tends to be a really big deep core of insecurity in most of them because of this overabundance of this other showy thing that there's actually this like moments of mm, but they're not really you're not as comfortable expressing them and that's why they become they, there's something really powerful in you like someone who has an easier time expressing them like me like I love to share my vulnerabilities <laughs> I love to share everything that nobody would ever say <laughs> you know um, I don't know what that is it's just almost like I can't wait to tell you <laughs> what happened even though someone else would be like I would never even tell one person that that happened and I'm like guess what <laughs> I'm gonna record it and share it online um, but that's my thing that's this is who I am but so um, by so there's something still that is in there that is just not totally really believing in yourself and it's almost like you just need to acknowledge it like through meditation through writing through kind of sharing and dialogue and really a private dialogue that nobody's ever gonna see this but getting real and being honest and and you know um, seeing how there are these insecurities that are still like rooted in there that um, just need to be addressed differently and um, they need to be had the light light shined on them so that you can really be honest about them and then just kind of transform them and really kind of bring more of your outside into your inside because that's kind of your path you know because you got the front everybody knows a Leo like that you know that's like no 
brainer. Um, but you need to bring that confidence more inside so that it really is a sustainable thing that really can magnify um, what you're already putting out there and really get it out there. And this thing is, you know, it's kind of related to your purpose, you know, what you're working on right now. And it's hanging on that little thing. So it can go like boom far and wide if you can just work on this thing. So that's what you're going to be dealing with right now. Or at least using these new moon energies to embrace that because everything is lined up for you to get in there and find it and change it in your mind. Um, and then let's see here. Hmm. Um, okay, and this is too, you know, um, it's, um, I would even look to, uh, you are kind of, um, hmm, Um, you're almost kind of really uh, serious about clearing out anything that's anything that's a debt related thing, anything that's not something that is um, what's the opposite of debt? What's that word? Is it asset? Um, this is why I was thinking I need a co-partner. <laughs> I always have lots of questions. I'm always like, what's that word? How do you say that? I need like someone who like <laughs> a little interpreter. <laughs> Um, that's funny. Um, but okay, so kind of clearing out anything that's like, um, not working, um, that's a debt that's holding you back, that's keeping you from what you want, um, that's keeping you in a solid, stagnant state, um, really kind of getting serious right now about clearing this playing field, starting over, beginning again, really discovering and thinking about what has been holding you back, what messages you've held on to, um, what you've learned that really isn't you. Um, it's kind of too even how, like I say, that astrology has to be completely be rewritten. Like I would look now after 2012 to people to really listen to people um, who have something to say about astrology because it needs to be rewritten it needs to be reinterpreted all that stuff has just been memorized and passed on and it's it doesn't really work now um, some of it does obviously but there's just some that just it's too negative it's too dense and it's too throwing out negative fear vibe into the world, into a person, into their body, you know, why would you tell them something like that? You know, all these planets have a positive and a negative, and we're always trying to get to learn through the negative to get to the positive, but some things are just too damaging. I've had so many people get charts from me, and they have said how they were nervous doing it, and then, but like so relieved, because every time they had like delved into it before it just was depressing and it made them feel bad and like they'll never da, da, da. I mean if you have to confront something that is on a lower which I do in them but I always come back with the upper I kind of explain really why it has to be I explain what's gonna happen because of this and you'll be thankful because of this so I don't just go boom I don't drop a bomb of your da 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 uh, <laughs> you know so this is kind of something in you too. There's something that needs to be completely rewritten. It needs to be reinterpreted. It needs to start from the foundation and redo it. Um, cleaning out this foundation, cleaning out any old debt um, thing you're holding on to that's keeping you blah 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 or whatever. Um, this can even be something like the envy of a sibling, you know, and like like always thinking that one was so much better and I'm never gonna and because of that and now I keep going out into the world never manifesting what I should have so like just clearing the playing field on something that is just not for your best and not the best way to think about you or your life or what you would like to have um, manifest for you so yeah I think we're gonna stop at that um, I think I've told you enough for now. So, and then make sure you watch the main one because the main one's so awesome, you know? And there's two parts to it this time because they're too long. And my camera only records 25 minutes. So anybody else would just put them together into one. But me, I just go, I don't know what to do. I don't have time to learn it. <laughs> Whatever. Here you get 17 videos because I can't put each five minutes together. No, I, I'm, not, I'm kidding. But anyway, okay, You so you have a beautiful new moon, and I will see you in two weeks with the full moon. Okay, bye. <laughs>